have a computer? Shalom. Shalom. What does shalom mean? Hello. Goodbye. Okay, so hello, goodbye, and peace. Okay, shalom, hello, goodbye, and peace. You can say shalom when you see some people. We have over here, toda raba. What does it mean? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Toda is thank you, right? Toda. And raba is a lot. Okay, so thank you very much. Toda raba. Let's say toda raba. Toda raba. Great. Guys, this is the advanced class. Okay, what do we have over here? The Vakasha. The last one for now is Slicha. What does Slicha mean? Sorry. So it's sorry, it's also oh, forgive me. And when you walk around and you want to say, you want people to excuse me, excuse me, you can just say Slicha. Or you can say Slichuzmi, which is my version for that. So Slichuzmi would be this one, or Slichuzmwa can also work. It's okay? So Slicha, that's uh, another one. So we are right now, if you look through your window, we are in the Galilee. You can see the Sea of the Galilee, the Kinneret on your left over there. And the Sea of the Galilee, the Kinneret, we're going to talk about it today. We're going to see the water that we're going to actually walk in the water to get over there. And basically, when we're on the bus, I'm not going to be talking too much on the bus to let you guys just enjoy the, the way and the view and the music because we want to play some Israeli music. So, right now, we're in the Galilee. And very soon, you're going to see the Kinneret on your right. If you have any questions when we're driving, you can come and ask us. Um, and other than that, we're going to put some Israeli music, so you guys will be able to know Israeli music and be exposed to Israeli music as well. And of course, just look around and see all the agriculture. To your right, you can see the mango trees right now. And this whole area is full with agriculture. On your left, you can see the olive trees as well. You are in the land of milk and honey, guys. Welcome to Israel. sing <laughs> love so free yeah Yeah. Okay. okay. So the phrase na nach nachman nachman muman actually is extremely important. It makes you very happy. It, it erases any sadness you've ever had. And what you're saying is, please rest in peace, Nachman from Uman. And when you say that, it's like you're one of the people that's helping Moses to take the bones of Joseph out. Like once upon a time, Moses couldn't find anyone, not one person, that would help him. Not in six hundred thousand. He needed that one guy. They all said, we're looking for gold. When you say, na nach nach ma nach man please rest in peace, nach man from Wuhan, you are giving him this gift. And as a result, he takes away any sadness you've ever had in your life. And when a person isn't sad, you know, he likes other people, and they look for a king. But when they're sad, they're oppressed, depressed, then they, don't, they suspect each other, and then they're looking for a scapegoat to unite them, which is what the brothers did back then. So now, by saying this phrase, you will attain the highest level mitzvah, the ha mitzvah ha-gdolah. There's only one mitzvah that's considered bigger than all the others, to never be sad, which is an impossible thing to do, unless you know this. And now that you know this, not only will you also be completely new anytime you want, but you will also be able to do the miracles, you know, all the miracles you need to get done. You just have to have faith. Sometimes it doesn't happen the same second, but if it happens a week later, don't freak out either. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. you can actually freak out. From you see at the beginning, when you see these miracles, you freak out. Be careful. 
Okay, go, go. One more time, what's it? Na, na. Na, nach, nachma, nachman, meuman. Thank you. Salam, salam, אני אחת מהבנות שיזמתי את העמותה בשנת 86, כי היינו ארגון של הבנות הצעירות. Talking to yourself. You get to a place where you actually have to listen to yourself. You can't get any distractions. This is a great Shabbat for yourself, right? You have to listen to yourself to get disconnected from everything around you. And this way you get connected to yourself. And this way, when we have all of these Jews walking together for 40 years, guys, that's a big, big icebreaker between them and themselves and them with each other. This guy, by the way, was very, very secular, but he believed in our history. He believed that in order to go Kadima forward, you need to know what was there in the past in Kedem. So again, the word Kadima forward is the same root as Kedem, the past. Because everything, if you want to know what's going to happen with you, if you want to know where you're going, you need to know where you're coming from. Won't you please arrange it? Cause I love you and the way you look tonight.
Yes, everybody can to go. Thank you, the coffee is ready.
בקצב. כפיים, Motherfucker, a son of a bitch. But when we really like something, we say the Denzona. Shalom 